Welcome back to Let's Play Project Zero F3. This is like copy paste of the previous disc uh, with the recording session. 36 minutes left for the last recording of the disc. Exactly like last time. It's probably because I'm timing them a little similarly, really. Like around 30 minutes or so is like kind of pushing it when it comes to like recording for a part. So I usually stop around about 26, 27, 28, 29 minutes. Right about those points I usually- Oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> Fucking run, bitch! Oh good lord. Get back, you bastard! Retreat! Retreat! Oh god, that shutter chance is real fucking tough. Jesus Christ! Am I running away from you, from you or running into your arms? Jesus Christ. Got you. Now you're my bitch. Now you're not. Now you're broken free, you fuckhead. Yeah! I'm the fastest ghost around. What a fucking asshole. Jeez, titty for Christ. Maybe wondering, it's like, why aren't you healing? I'm kind of saving, like, all the medicine while I'm beside. I got a stone mirror. So, where do I need to go again? I've. Ah, yeah. I remember. Ah, what a pain in the ass, Jesus Christ. That was a tough one. Everything around here. Don't stand around too long, ghosts do randomly appear. It's not pleasant. This one's a lot longer than the other ones, isn't it? Usually by this point, she'd already have woken up and we'd be like, going on to develop more film or some shit. But you know that ghost that attacked us reminded me of the freaking family head, I think it was. Project Zero, the first one. Remember that? That was so much fail. You know, I wonder how what's her face is doing. Probably still being guarded by Dementors. If you can call it guarding. Probably still the same point, still at the same hour or whatever. Keep the child back. 
Oh, the fourth one's always the hardest one, man. Running low on type 14 here. At least you're like easier to spot. I mean, you were the first, fir, fir, the first, the first ghost battle. So, yeah, an image of something has been caught in the photo. I guess your side quest was not yet fully completed. Jeez, man. Oh, fuck, man. I thought sleep was supposed to freaking make you rest and all that, but I feel freaking exhausted. That's the thing, really. You always wake up, but do you ever wake up feeling, ah, I feel awake? No, you freaking feel tired and half asleep. You're just like, wait, but I was sleeping the whole time. You shouldn't have got rested from it. Like, I mean, that's the point of sleeping, is to rest. But he does nothing. I wonder what uh, rank we'll get at the end of all this. Probably a crappy rank like the previous two. That's because a lot of it like, if you save quite a number of times, your score will be shittier because of it. And because I'm LPing this, and not just playing for it all in one go, and instead playing it over, like, various amount of time, points in time, I can't really do that, you know? I have to save after each recording session. Hi. It's actually camera. Switch to the Type 7. Just to save the Type 14 there, you know? Because I keep having to take pictures and all that shit. Christ, man, it's like she's been running freaking miles without stopping. And you're like, <sighs> now we got to backtrack. Wait, no, actually, we don't need to. We can just take the shortcuts. The bell! The bell tomes! Where the fuck's the bell coming from? Oh lord. Why? Again? Really, it's you? You are persistent, I'll give you that much. Where are you? Wait, actually, I think there's film over here as well. Yep. 
Gotta remember that this will be a usual spot now as well. Oh, <laughs> it's shipper! Whoa, eyes, lady, eyes. Hi, how you doing? Ah, I remember this place. We're coming to play later on. Right now, we gotta play with a ghost. Excuse me, madam. You're a different ghost, aren't you? I don't recall the mother doing that, you know. I recall her being a lovely ghost that, like, slowly approaches you rather than just sweeps down and just tries to grab you. Ah, la la. Ah, oh, man, what the hell? The timing is terrible. Yeah, the timing is ass. Woohoo! Lipstick problem? Hello! Jesus Christ, it takes a lot with Type 7, doesn't it? On the plus side, it gives us some practice. You just a practice ghost? Whoa! Oh wait, I was able to use the evade there, nice. A lady. Lady? Lady! Fight fair! Oh, God damn it. Fight fair. Come on. Come on. Woman, please, will you stop being a bitch? Seriously, you're just flying around like a dumbass. Well, it's nice to know that you won't let me go. But why? There we go. Some more. Ah, oh, fucked it up again. Jesus Christ, Type 7 is terrible. That took forever. Now what's up here? There's something inside the drawer. Some sacred water.
click on it for some reason. There's a gap in the wall I can see through the downstairs floor. Maybe this is where the banister used to go. Careful here. Yeah. Wait, what's over here? That just leads into that. Let's get the show on the road. See, this is the door that was locked that we didn't check while it was locked anyway. Hope that bastard doesn't show up again because I don't stand a chance against him. Like, I don't want to open that door. The doll stuck to the door is fading away. Just like Jesus Christ, I can't freaking breathe. On the candlelit altar is a huge gemstone as big as my palm. It looks like it might be used in some kind of ceremony. Something is reflecting light above the altar. Bell Tower Key. Some kind of red cloth has been fixed to all four walls of the narrow room. They look like straw dolls dressed in red. Anything else of note? Yep, knew this would happen. Knew it. Totally called it. I didn't actually. I didn't call it. But in my mind I was like, you know, if I recall you fight this ghost. And even if I didn't recall that, it's so predictable anyway, really, isn't it? Well, I'm not freaking ch answering my luck with this freaking Type 7, you know. So go back to Type 14. God damn it, where the fuck are you? Oh, you wasting bitch! Trouble is, she, like, will appear, like, from the floor. That's what you gotta really look out for. Really, you've got to get used to comboing, because it seems pretty much required. Ow! Fuck! You made me use my stone mirror, you bitch! Wasn't planning on using that up. Oh, you bitch, get out of here. I knew only one shot left as well. That's just ridiculous. I'll have to find another stone mirror at some point. 
Maybe it even respawns, who knows? An image of something has been caught on the photo. Did you just call me a traitor? A traitor for what? There is something on the floor where the girl dressed as a shrine maiden was. Grey diary. Of course, they're always marked by color for each character's diaries. I wonder if being impaled hurts. <laughs> what? I wonder if being impaled hurts. I, uh, I've... Well, no fucking shit it would. I wonder which hurts worse, having the stake in, go in a little bit at a time or having it stabbed through at, all at once. I wonder if they die if the stake goes all the way through. I wonder if it matters if they die. I want to impale a real priestess soon. This shrine maiden was a bit on the, uh, messed up side there. If I recall, there are like four shrine maidens in total. At least one of them is, you know, not completely batshit out of their mind wanting to impale the crap out of you. But I think even that one you can potentially battle as well, but I'm not sure. I think there was at least one of them that was non-hostile. It's the Casper of the ghost around here, the friendly one. But that was exhausting and long. There is old film in the camera obscura. Musty film. Pressing wrong buttons. The snake bruise. Every time I dream of the house, the snake-like tattoo gets bigger. It's like she's saying every time that she has a dream of that house, when does she not? Seriously. Stabbing pain is worse getting is, is worse every day. If the things carry on like this, it will eventually cover my whole body. And then the dreams, the manner, what do they mean? How can I escape? You know, if this was like a typical Japanese horror movie, you wouldn't escape. They'd like give you that false hope, you know? That tends to be the case with horror. It's just like, you can escape, there's gotta be a way. And then it's just like, oh there's a way, and then it's like, <laughs> troll face, nope. The Red Doll Room, in the small room where I heard the lullaby, red dolls were nailed to the walls. Inside was one of the girls dressed as shrine maidens who tried to impale me in my daydream. Wait, I didn't freaking go on that page. Who is she and what was she doing in there? Impaling dolls? That's my guess. What the hell? Yeah, Miku, uh, that was obviously the lullaby from the dream, but I honestly couldn't hear it properly, so I'm not sure if we actually could hear it clearly or not. Miku, that song. Oh, Ray, good morning. That song? I don't remember exactly where I heard it, but I feel like I've been hearing it in my dreams lately. I don't have any idea what the lyrics mean. So why were you singing it out loud in a creepy way, man? Could it be some sort of dialect? Dreams. The 
The lullaby. Miku was singing the same lullaby I heard inside the manor. She said she heard the song in her dream too. Has she been having the same dreams? Is she being lured into the house too? Just like Yoshino Takagawa and me. How creepy. The girl who works as my assistant, the song she was singing was the lullaby I heard inside that manor. Is Miku having the same dreams as me? She has a... she lost a relative somewhat unclose. Is that who she sees in her dreams, just like me? There seems to be a pattern here that this is what I think. It's like people who like have lost someone close to them and haven't got over that. And like maybe if they go into that house or whatever, investigate all that creepy urban legend shit or something like that, they become trapped in it. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I can't remember, honestly, but that's probably more or less how it is. What are you dreaming about? I don't really remember too well, but I'm singing the song in the dreams. While I'm singing, I start to feel homesick. Like I'm remembering someone important. At the same... at the end of the dream, I'm so scared, all I can remember is that I'm very afraid. But that's just the way dreams are, I guess. Why do you keep asking me this? No comment on it's raining again? Or perhaps maybe it's not raining again. That'd be a twist. It's like the rain stopped. Oh. No, 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 no. An envelope has been delivered through the letterbox. Letter from K3. Dear you, I'm sending you a testimony tape I just found about the urban legend. If I give it to you, I know you'll take good care of it. Found several other tapes, but as they're quite old, having been dubbed by a gramophone, they're damaged. I'm trying to get them restored now. I'll send them to you when you're when they're done. Lately, I've solely been researching folklore legends, folk tales, and folk religion. That was both your and my Mafuyu's field, wasn't it? It's an interesting world, but I don't want to get too deep into it. Now, uh, how is Mafuyu's sister? Her name was Miku, right? I'm searching everywhere I can, but I still don't know Junsei Takamine's whereabouts. So, you're still referencing that, even to this point. That's what I like about this game. It brings the previous two games together, pretty much, and merges them. Maybe he was spirited away too. If the if you got anything, let me know. But I think Project Zero Four, on the other hand, was like entirely different. It had nothing to do with Project Zero One, Two, or Three, and didn't get released because I can't really remember. Maybe it was because it was a bit buggy, and they're just like, no, it's too hard for Western gamers, which it probably was. If it's buggier than the first one, then it. Totally was. Miu's health is not good, so I put her in the hospital. She only wakes once every two days, and then only for a couple of hours at a time. I've got to hurry with my research. Regards, K. Amakura. So it seems Miu is in a similar situation. A photograph of a girl is enclosed in the envelope. Photo of Miu. Is this girl Miu Amakura? There seems to be a cassette enclosed. The cassette looks quite old. The label reads the manner of sleep recordings, case A. Maybe I can play it on the tape desk in my... deck in my room. You didn't develop the film! You didn't develop the film! You're supposed... Maybe I should have done that first. I think we can still do that. But... Let's just check notes. Written in case... Etera was the name of Miku's brother, Mafuyu. 
He was a friend of K and U who disappeared while on the trail of missing writer Junsei Takamine. People say he was spirited away. I know Miku had lost a relative, but I thought he had died she never spoke about her brother. That photo, is Miku still longing for the brother she lost? I'd say it's highly likely. Window open? Light drizzle, it's raining again. Wait, what? What did that say? A light drizzle has been falling for several days. There's something comforting about the sound of rain, the way it seems to envelop the whole house and everything in it. Creepy things that go bump in the night. Nope. This looks like the skewered red dolls in the courtyard with the sacred tree. Maybe it's some kind of religious ritual. The kimono-clad mother and daughter are holding something that looks like a child. What could have happened to them? The shrine maiden in the room full of dolls nailed to the wall. She has a stick in her hand, just like in my vision. Who or what could she be? I like how he's just like, what could she be? He's just like, maybe she's not human at all. An image has appeared of an old projector that must have been there inside the mansion. God damn it, I'm always pressing triangle. Now, at least I'm instinctively pressing that, you know, instead of friggin' circle. <whistles> the obscure dolls inside the house in a courtyard surrounded by a corridor was a tree wrapped with sacred rope around it. Stood straw dolls skewered on stakes. Countless dolls in the snow. What could be the significance of this eerie scene? The mother and child who appeared in my dream in old-fashioned kimonos. The daughter stopped the, dropped a scrap of paper on it. it. was an apology she had written to her mother. The child's father went to fetch her a ball when she must have felt responsible for what happened. Shrine maiden girl, the girls who appeared in my daydream at the deserted house I visited on that photography assignment. In the dream manner, they were in the room where the red dolls were nailed to the wall. Who or what could they be? Again, what? If the manner I saw that day was the one I dreamed about, the one I heard about from Miku, does that mean they were carrying out some kind of ceremony there? Impaling people? The projector! This old projector was in the house I saw in my dream. The images inside showed girls dressed as shrine maidens. Someone must have been there recording what goes on inside the manor. And will we have time to freaking listen to the cassette? It's 
good that you're always awake, Miku, every time you come in here. Ray, what's the matter? Miku, that person in the picture on your desk. That's my older brother. He's been missing for quite some time. I, I didn't know. I'm sorry for bringing it up. I was just wondering. You never asked this how long she's been living with you, and you haven't even asked this, so you don't know shit, do you? Hello? 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 I can't interact? Why? Is it because you brought up that awkward subject? I guess so. Maybe it's just... I don't know. Maybe you will be able to ask about those pictures just like, Hey, can you look into this one as well? I hope so, otherwise I probably screwed that up. But I doubt it. In my dream I saw my mother. Creepy. So it lures you in, and then once you've gone in too deep, there ain't no getting out. Or is there? So, anyways, that was a long recording. And finally got another disc recorded for completed, so that's good. I shall see you next time, viewers. See you next time.